Hey team, welcome back. Today's workout is legs, calves, and abs. We are lifting those heavy weights today. We've got 40 seconds of full out effort with a 20 second transition, three rounds. We're hitting it hard, going for that load that's gonna really make the transformation in that body. So if you're looking to build muscle and lose fat, this is the workout for you. Equipment for this workout is gonna be a variety of dumbbells. My lowest set will be 20, highest set 30 pound weights, a stability ball, a chair or bench for something stable, ankle weights for added resistance for the core movements, a mat, and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. And if you want more content, over 200 workouts plus live workouts, click on the join button below. Roll your shoulders back. You're gonna do a squat with a calf raise. In your squat, sit back to your heels. And then in that calf raise, really lift the heels off the ground, popping into the toes, and then open up the chest. As you squat, keep your eyes up, your chest open. And you gotta brace that core right when you drop. We're gonna alternate lunges, reach up, left leg goes back first, bend the knees and switch. Make sure in your lunge, you press through the front foot. So as I rise up, a lot of weight goes in that front foot. And you're bending both knees. RDL on the right leg, so the right leg stays. You're just gonna lift up that back leg, reaching for the floor, and then tapping it behind you. You don't necessarily have to touch the floor, but in that RDL, you push your butt back, feel a stretch in the hamstring, and then squeeze through the heel, the hamstring, and the glute. Inhale, you lower. Exhale, you come up. If your balance is a little off, Hold onto a chair. All right, we're gonna switch legs. Shoulders back, again, reaching down. The standing leg has a slight bend in the knee. And you look out in front. When we do our RDLs today, we actually don't come all the way up. We come up about three fourths of the way. And then we go back down to the range that works best for you. Coming into a plank, you're gonna go right knee, left knee into the chest, and then a down dog. Hips go up, stretch the back of the legs, back into plank, right knee, left knee. Warming up the core, and then getting a little stretch in those legs. We're coming up onto the feet. Walk forward, you're gonna kick that right foot, reach for the toes, kick, and march. Just a nice stretch back there. Get it warm, even using your core in that kick. All right, try to go for that big swing. Give it a good stretch in that waist. We're getting ready for squats and you're gonna top load in that squat. I'm gonna be holding on to my 30s. Top load for that squat. Feet are open. You can have a little bit of turn out in those feet if you need to. Inhale, drop. Exhale, you rise up. There are 40 seconds on the clock today. Remember, we want heavy load. As I drop, I keep my eye gaze up and I'm holding that breath. Pushing that butt down to the heels. Front load helps you to get deeper and lower.
Great job. All right, rep range, you know, 10, 12. If you're getting a little higher, maybe you can go for some heavier weight, okay? Ooh, my heart rate's up, how about you? All right, take a deep breath, grab your weight. Load again, second set. Pay attention to your posture. You can even pause the bottom. Makes it harder to come up. Oh my gosh, Whew. that was getting tough for me. How about you? Whew. All right, take some deep breaths. That really does help you get the heart rate down and ready for our last set here. Deep breath, ready, pick it up. That went by fast. Here we go, team. How you doing? Whoo, come on. Oh, super job. Okay, we're moving into. Whoo, I gotta take a deep breath here. How about you? We got this now. Bulgarian lunges. I'm gonna be bringing out a bench to put my foot up on. And they're gonna stay in iso lunge, right? Okay, weight is gonna be up at the chest. We'll take our back foot, step it forward. We're gonna face the basketball hoop. All right, take a deep breath here. We're gonna do each leg, three sets. Okay, weight is up at the chest. I'm gonna hold the 30. Back leg is forward, front leg is back. Dropping in, pushing away. All right, in a Bulgarian lunge, you can have your foot up on a bench or the seat of a chair, and then you step out and really drop that knee, especially that front foot. Inhale, lower, exhale, push away. We're gonna go for it today. We're gonna do each leg three sets non-stop. So we're gonna stay on this leg for the whole three sets here. All right, take a break. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna up the ante. I'm gonna hold on to two 20s, add 30. I'm gonna have one dumbbell in each hand. I'm going for it today. Okay, same leg. Get ready, get in set position. Start at the top or the bottom. Here we go, drop and push. Now, because I have two weights in front of me, I'm gonna lean a little bit forward. Inhale, I'm lowering. Exhale, I'm pushing away. Feels like a leg press machine, especially with your back leg elevated. And you go at your pace. What you got for weight there, Carol? All right, go for it, girl. All right, drop. Now, you can make a choice on this last, last set. Same leg. You could hold two weights down low or just one weight with the opposite hand on the leg. I'm gonna stay with my two. You always have the option of holding it the chest. Okay, set position. Let's do this, girls. Dropping and pressing through. Yes, they are hard. That's what we want. Think 
getting low, but having good form. Your range of motion is really cut short. Check your mobility. Maybe you need a little bit more of that. And a little bit means just a little every day. If you do just that little bit, adds up. Woo, all right. We're switching legs. I'll do my first with a 30 and then go into the other weights. Get yourself ready. Ladies, are you ready? You at home, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Bring it today. All right. Push through that front foot. When the weight is up at the chest, it almost is touching my chest. It actually is. Rep range, we're getting more. Probably get 15, 17 reps. Oh my gosh, Whew. super. Okay, I'm gonna go for the two 20s in each hand. Now that it's warmed up, right? <laughs> okay, get in your position. And go for that movement. And again, I'm gonna lean a little bit forward. Push through the heel coming up. don't want to use heavier weights, right? Maybe you slow down on the way up. Pausing at the bottom and pushing away. Whew. Great job, oh my gosh. Oh, what a difference that made. Whew. That really is spiking my heart rate. How about you? That feels like hit. High intensity. Okay, here we go. Deep breath. Position yourself. Looking good. Feeling good, right? Do your best. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all I could do. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Did you feel like that with, with the weight? Did you host? Okay, breather. Take a sip of water. And then we're gonna take our heels elevated for goblet squat. Get what you need. Three rounds. I'm gonna use my 220s. You're gonna have your heels lifted on possibly, could be the edge of your mat. It could be nothing. Weight is up in front of your chest. Are we ready? You got your water, you're good to go. Heels are lifted, weight is in front. There's that goblet squat. This one you wanna make sure Heels and toes turned out. My weight again is ch at the chest. You can definitely use just one dumbbell. I'm going for it today. How about you? A little bit more quad focused here.
about 12 reps there. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try my 30s. I'm gonna see if I can hold it up. All I gotta do is try. Get yourself ready to go. Drop. Rise up, oh, that was tricky. Get the weights here. May not say much. Try to keep it. Ooh. You might hear me breathing heavy. <sighs> Looking great. All right, deep breath. You can do this. <sighs> Get yourself set up. <sighs> Here we go. Try your best. If you fail, you're done. That's all I can do. Whew. Holy cows. RDL, make sure your back is stretched out. We'll start with your right leg. Three sets. I'm gonna use my 30 pound dumbbell. And then we also have something for support. So if you wanna get the chair out or your little pole that we have here, it's gonna be in your right hand. Weight is in your left hand. Weight over here. Thirty pound dumbbell is what I got. All right, here's that RTL. Weight down to toes, three-fourths of the way up. Inhale lower, exhale up. Now, stop pushing in your toe. Push through your heel. Yeah, you made that difference right there. Inhale down, exhale up. Look out in front of your mat, just in front of you. All right, I was able to get 15. We're gonna go between the right and the left here. I guess I like this song. We got it again. That's okay, it's like the focus song. Remember, we're working the back of the leg here. We're really starting to isolate. Grab that weight. And you're again, you're tipping with a strong, long spine. A little softness in the knee. My hand's on a chair, it's just lightly there. Not like it's a third leg. We're trying to get around 15 reps here. Right, when you tip, make sure that back leg lifts up. You can squeeze the glute a little bit. I'm gonna get one more to get my 15. Nice job. All right, if you need a little stretch in your back. Hey, let's shift over to that first side. Make sure you pick up your weight by bending your knees. Shoulders back. Hey, pushing your heel on your toes. 
You're gonna go a little on the toes when you tip forward, but when you rise up, push in your heel. Hips go back. Squeeze the booty. Look out in front. Last one. Nice job. You feeling that? If you shake it out a little bit here. Ooh, I'm sweating. Switch legs. Grab your weight. Good posture. Heel. Eyes look out. And if our pace is just a little too fast for you, just slow it down. But I want you to be mindful in the movement. One more set on each side, am I right? Am I right? All right, I wanna make sure I'm right. I need a deep breath here. Let's go back. Here it is, I'll just turn to the side here. Tip. So I'm bringing that weight to the toe area and then coming up almost all the way. How low you go depends on your range and your body. As long as you get below the knee with your weight. And again, we call this a Romanian deadlift, RDL. It's a single leg, it gets tough. You should be feeling it, right? You should feel it. Back the leg, but you're gonna feel your low back too. That's why it's good to just kinda give yourself a little back break. We are switching it here. Do the other leg. Remember, heels get a lift of that back leg. Press through the heel of the front leg. You're holding on so that you just don't fall. If you've got amazing balance, maybe you don't hold on at all. Your shoes come into play, so try to make sure you're wearing flatter shoes. Definitely not running shoes. You could do this barefoot. Just don't drop your weight. Here we go. Nice job. We're really gonna isolate this now. We're gonna get into ball curls. So we're gonna be using that stability ball. If you don't have a ball, you could do gliders, right? Or rags underneath your heels. That would be the option. Get what you need, come down on the back, and we're ready to go. Make sure you do have some room to move, right? Now, this one we're gonna do two sets with using the timer. And then that third set, you guys, we're gonna go a little longer than what it calls for. Does that sound good? Yeah, well, you don't have any say in it, right? <laughs> you can just stop when you're at home. All right, we're on our back looking at the ceiling, curling heels in, there we go. pressing them out. As you curl the heels in, hike the hips up just that little bit so that you pause and feel the hamstrings engage. Back of the head's on the mat. Work it is right. 
really isolating. Great job. All right, if you need a stretch, right, this is where you can reach it out. We're dealing with a little wetness on the driveway today. Ooh. All right, you guys. Come on down. Legs up, heels on. I'm gonna have my hips up to start with. Roll out, pull in. Come on, give me that little, oh, uh, when you bring them in. All right, check in with yourself, how you doing? Relax, all right, so this next one, we can typically go right beyond the timer. I know we can, right? We're gonna try to do that 20 second break, continue to go. So that'll give you 50 seconds. All right, we can do this. Come into position, we got this. Hips are up. And if you fail before the timer, hey, just stop. All you gotta do is just do your best. Don't grip your mat with your hands. It does not help you. Keep going. Yes, you can. How about we go for some speed? Come on, in, out, in. Let's go crew, you got this. They're my driveway divas, let's do it. Done, nice job. Woo, oh, super job. Let's come on up and we got seated calf raises. You're gonna load heavy on your lap and sit on your ball or bench. So depends on what you have at home. Woo, I'm gonna put two 30s on my lap. Get where you need to be. Three sets. Weights on your thighs. Oh yeah. Lifting, lowering heels. Now I have my weights just above the knee. Really lifting up. So if you've done any of the other workouts in this series, you've seen this before. This hits just a different area of the calf. If you've never done them before, you're gonna feel these the next day or two days after. Really rise up. All right, rest it. I'm just gonna keep my weights there. Roll your shoulders back. Make sure you feel nice and lengthened up through that torso here. Take a deep breath. And then we're ready to go into set two here. And you should be able to have your heaviest weight set on your thighs. Your legs are so strong. All right, pop it up. Feel the contraction. It's in a different area than the standing one. Relax. Oh, they're getting heavy for me. All right. Last set. Make sure your weights are where they need to be. 
chest is up. All right, I want a dramatic pause and then release. So let's pause, All right, pop and hold. After this set, you're gonna roll your mat up a little bit or come to the edge, maybe you got a step near you. We're gonna do standing calf raises. And again, you're gonna go for your heavy weights. Great job, all right. I'm gonna go for my heavier weights here. I'm just gonna move my ball a little bit out of the way. We still need the ball though for some of the ab stuff here. So roll up your mat so that you have some type of edge that's elevated for calf raises. Hold on to your weights near your hips. Grab the weights, we're ready to go. Toes on the edge, heels off the edge. All right. Lift and lower those heels. I got a 30 in each hand. things that can make it feel different. Tempo and how far your feet are. If you have them turned in, turned out. And then once you feel situated, chin up. And I hope you have those heavy weights in your hands. Great job, put him down. Just take that breather here for a second. So there's two muscles in the calf, the gastrocnemius and the soleus. We're hitting both of them, right? Okay, let's bend down, pick them up. Get your placement of your feet. Maybe you need to roll your shoulders back open the chest a little bit. Are you a rep counter? Sometimes I do that, I count my reps. Definitely getting around over 20, maybe around that range. Okay, one more set. Ooh, I'm feeling the burn there a little bit. How about you? Ooh. All right, let's bend down, pick it up. Third set, best set here. you're feeling lengthened from the crown of your head. There we go, all right? You just feel a little taller now. You are gonna have popping calf muscles here. All right, great job, all right. This is the plan. You're gonna go ahead, roll out your mat, make sure you have your ball and your ankle weight. So go ahead and put your ankle weights on at this stage. Mine are weighing in at three pounds each. We're getting ready for rep challenge. So get your water, get your ankle weights on, and then meet us back on the mat here. We are getting ready for that stability ball. Reverse crunch using the ankle weights. You're gonna look at the ceiling, grab the ball either around it or you can wrap those legs on top of it. 
I feel lucky today. I got my shorts on. Okay, team, are you guys ready to go? So I'm wrapping my feet on top of it. You have 20 reps. Back of the head's on the mat. Pick it up slightly and ready. Start the reverse crunch. Tap down, back in and up. Tricky on the driveway today. A little wet. <laughs> Come on, in and up. I got you for one more. Nice job. All right, let's stay with this movement. We're gonna do both sets here. Everybody's balls okay? It's just a little slippery. All right, deep breath here. There is only one of us. Thank goodness, right? Pull the ball slightly in. Ready? Begin. All right, give me a little more lift. Smooth on the down. Great, there's 15. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love. They always pray on the lonely. Teen. with you here, nothing is getting done. All right. Switch gears here. Ball's gonna go away. We're gonna do leg lifts. So you're gonna wanna make sure cheeky face the other way so you can anchor onto your weights. I'm gonna anchor my hands onto my waist back here. Hug the knees into the chest. Then we're gonna anchor the hands back behind us. Maybe it's a couch or it's just your heavy weights that you've got here. We're gonna extend the legs out, keep them elevated. Front leg lifts up and switch. That's two of 20. Another option, start them at the top and that makes it a little bit easier versus the bottom. Two more. Nice job, relax. Woo. Do a little knee sway side to side. We're going to be taking a shorter break here. It's starting to rain. If you need more break, you can hit pause. Deep breath. Knees into chest. Extend legs out. Back leg goes. And switch. Until it goes up. And 
done. Oh, oh. Ooh, double crunch. We're gonna make it hard with those weights on the ankles. I'm just gonna scoop myself a little bit forward here. Well, we're not afraid of the rain. <laughs> okay, double crunch looks like this, right? Everything comes in, feet tap down, and as the feet come up, they go in, and you tap elbows to thighs. 20 reps. Take a deep breath in, and begin. If you need to ne have neck support, your towel is great behind your head. might be going fast because <laughs> it's really starting to rain. I got you for one more and relax. Super job. Woo. Reminds me of being a kid though, right? Don't you remember going out in the rain when you were a kid? Splashing in the puddles. All right, here we go. Set two, hands by the ears. Take a big inhale and begin. One more. Nice job. All right, we're gonna rock up. We're gonna take those ankle weights off and we're gonna get into our stretch. You did amazing. Oh my gosh. How those legs feel? Have you been going heavier? I sure hope so. I hope you are feeling stronger. Always check in with yourself. It's good to keep track, right? Reps, how much weight you're using here. Woo. All right, we are gonna come back down onto that mat. Let's go onto all four ladies. You at home, come on all four, hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Round that back, because we used it a lot today. And then inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up, and then we're gonna take it into down dog. Press the hips up, press through the hands. Take your back leg forward into lunge. Sink in the hips. And then your knee's gonna go down and you're gonna reach that front arm up and to the back. Reach it straight up and back. Open through the hip flexor. And then you're gonna pull in that back leg a little pyramid stretch in that front leg. Drop your shoulders. Straddle front, we're gonna look at you. Open the legs up. We're turning the other direction. Just lunge, hold for a moment before the knees go down. Drop the knee, bring the arms up. Good side stretch to the back. and then reach it up to the sky and back. A little extension of the spine. All right, pyramid pulling in. My leg straightens out, nose to knee, shoulders drop. Straddle front. All right, toes out, heels in, sumo squat, drop. Push the knees out. All right, reach it up, dive all the way up to the top. Let it go. We're gonna have to get out of here. Big inhale, reach it up, attitude of gratitude. Reach it back. Pull it into your heart. Take a big inhale. And let it go. 
how does your lower body feel? How about that core section? That was great. If you don't have some of that equipment, make sure you check the description box. All that is there though that we use. We use the sport near ankle weights and we use the try to your stability ball. Thumb it up, comment below, share it with a friend, work out with your friends. I'm gonna say thank you to my friends for bearing it through the rain. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Cheeky. We need to wipe off. Yes, and of course, thank you. We will see you at the next workout. Take care.